You know it's fall when you're bringing out the sweaters. <laughs> The Gulf Islands of BC consists of 200 islands located in the Strait of Georgia between Vancouver Island and the mainland. They are mainly broken up between the Southern Gulf Islands and the Northern Gulf Islands and today I'm going to give you a quick rundown of 12 of them. So let's get into it. The natural and artificial reefs around Gabriela Island boast some of the best marine life diving on BC's coast. It's also home to the Malaspina Galleries, which is a beautiful area of curved sandstone cliffs that have been shaped into a wave formation by years and years of real waves crashing onto shore. This is the driest area in the Gulf and sees more sunshine here than the Lower Mainland and most of coastal BC. It's also home to Montague Harbour Marine Provincial Park, which was the first marine park in BC. It's a popular place for tourists where they can see a white shell beach, rare protected plants, and over 130 species of birds. This is home to the Georgina Point Lighthouse, which overlooks the active pass and has done so since 1885. This is a protected landmark and a popular pit stop for visitors. Here you can spot harbor seals, orcas, seabirds, and more. Maine Island is also well known for world-class kayaking, as well as eco-tours, fishing charters, and inter-island sea taxis. If you love hiking, then come to Pender Island. You will have more than 60 walking and hiking trails to choose from here. You can also explore the island's history over at the Pender Island Museum, which is located in an original 1908 farmhouse near the Otter Bay Ferry Terminal. This island got its name from the North End Salt Springs, which are still around today at the Salt Springs Spa Resort. It is also the most populated and most frequently visited island in the Southern Gulf Islands, likely due in part to its amazing, vibrant art community and weekly Saturday market. Saturna is the least populated of the Southern Gulf Islands, with only about 350 people that live here year round. It is also the least developed, meaning there are no malls, no banks, no doctors, no cable and dodgy cell service. But if you're looking for a place that is very untouched, then Saturna could be the place for you. Denman Island has a quiet country-like setting and feel to it. There are three provincial parks here and as all the islands, plenty of wildlife including dolphins, blue herons and seals, just to name a few. Like Salt Spring Island, it's known for its art community as well, and many artists have called Denman Island home for decades. This island is one of the top diving and snorkeling destinations in North America, and is an excellent area for kayaking and paddleboarding due to the calmer waters here. Hornby Island has three provincial parks, 70 biking and hiking trails, and is an excellent place for fishing for salmon, halibut, cod, and prawns to name a few. This one is mostly forested with only a few summer cabins and very few permanent residents. Nelson Island is covered with mountainous regions and lakes and is only accessible by boat or float plane and with very few amenities is considered off the grid. This one is one of the largest of all the Gulf Islands with lots of attractions including 10 lakes, geocaching, whale watching or observing the 265 bird species to name a few. Look for the well-known Flower Rock, which is a black volcanic stone with white flower-shaped crystals unique to this island. Thorman Bay is broken up into two parts, north and south. The North Island has Buccaneer Bay Provincial Park, which has a nice sandy beach and tidal pools with warm water for swimming in and is popular with families. The South Island is mostly comprised of Simpson Provincial Park and is favored by kayakers for the atmosphere and privacy. This island has bragging rights to the warmest water north of Mexico, as well as white sandy beaches. However, Savory Island is off the grid with no power, no public campsites or washrooms. There are, however, accommodations on the island in the way of vacation rentals, B&Bs and private cabins. There are very fragile ecosystems here, so please don't go off the beaten path when exploring and just respect your surroundings.
If you would like to learn more about any of these 12 islands or any of the numerous other ones in this region, I will put some links in the description below for you. And if you're new here, I just want to let you know I do have a brand new second channel as well called Lighthouse Buffs. If you like learning about lighthouses, then you might want to check that channel out as well. I'll put the link for that in the description below also. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you in the next one.